Hi and welcome to Themeco. This time we will talk about multibody systems. Specifically, we will define what a multibody system is and what are its characteristics to be considered a multibody system. By the end of the video, you'll have the tools to recognize them. Let's start. In simple terms, a multibody system is a collection of bodies interconnected by ideal joints and constraint elements between them and the surrounding environment. Well, that's not something new. I bet you have seen different collections of interconnected bodies in your previous courses, but what is the differentiator here? The key difference is that this collection of interconnected bodies, or more specifically, the bodies in these collections, are capable of performing large translational and rotational displacements. Surely you're thinking right now, okay, I understand the body part, but what are the large translational and rotational displacements? When can a displacement be considered large so that I can relate it to a multibody? This is an interesting topic. Let's try to come to an agreement. Let's assume that we have a beam system supported in both ends. A displacement can be considered large when the vertical displacement, sigma, is slightly larger than the beam thickness, t. But wait, this is a beam that we have studied before. This doesn't feel like a multibody beam. Yes, you are right. Nevertheless, what we have just said is indeed a definition of a large displacement, and yes, the beam is constrained or attached in a way that it cannot move. So basically, this displacement could be an elastic deformation. Imagine now that we modify our beam and the left support is transformed into a hinged joint, and the right support is eliminated. We end up with a pendulum. In this case, under the action of gravity, the beam will oscillate around a rest position. This oscillation or change in orientation of the pendulum is what we call a rigid body motion. Large displacements include rigid body motions as well as elastic deformations. If we take our original beam and substitute the left and right supports by roller supports, under an applied horizontal force, the beam will translate. This is also a rigid body motion. In space, we have six possible rigid body motions. You guessed them three translations and three rotations. Now our definition of a multibody system is complete. Always remember to use the differentiator. Look for large displacements. Why do we use multibody systems? Why are they important in our life? Well, industries, vehicles, and even a simple washing machine use multibody systems as part of their internal mechanism to perform a job. We design this collection of interconnected bodies in a way that when in the presence of determined forces and moments, they move in a certain way to accomplish a function. What function? That's where purpose intervenes. Anything that the designer might think of. I get that this is a broad explanation, but I prefer to start like this and give more examples during the following lessons. Or better yet, you'll see them by yourself during the course. I imagine that you have studied structures, machines, and trusses in other courses, and the fact that I am presenting with you this concept of multibody systems might be confusing at the beginning. However, I think one of the important messages here is the concept of large displacements. Be confident that if you can tell a large displacement apart, you can see if it is or if it is not a multibody system. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it was very relaxed and we learned one important topic that is sometimes overlooked in the textbooks. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.